So first up, I'm just going to use my Too She Clap Blow Primer. I've used this a lot before um, in the past few videos. It's like a smoothing primer and just helps the foundation go on like really smoothly and silky. So to start off with my brows, I'm going to use this new designer brand brow brow kit with Steetzel. So um, it comes with like the take the sticker off. So it comes with the four colors here. So there's two different brow colors, uh, a wax and a highlight color. And then it's got lots of stencils in here and also like a little um, brow brush. Uh, unfortunately, the stencils, um, I mean, they look like a good shape, but they're a little bit too small for my, um, I have quite large brows, so they're not going to really work for me. But I think if you had like, you know, a smaller brow, um, not much hair, or maybe your hair is quite fair, that would work quite well. Uh, it's quite thin, the, the stencils. I'm just going to use my own brow brush because I know this works for me, so I'm just using a Sigma Ingold brow brush, and I'm going to... I think this one's a bit warmer, and that one's a bit cooler, so I'm going to go for the cool shade. I'm just going to brush my brow hairs up. My brows look a little bit red, it's because I... Um, just tidied them up before I started filming because there's nothing worse than having an untidy brow and you're showing everyone that. <laughs> right, so let's give this a go. The colour seems to work fine. There's not a huge colour payoff, which is, can be quite a good thing if you don't want your brows to be um, too dramatic if you put on the powder and all of a sudden you've got really dark brows so you can kind of build this product up. Probably supposed to put the wax first. I'm going to press stencil, use spoolie brush, fill in, stencil with brow wax. So you're probably supposed to use the wax first but I find that the wax doesn't really do anything for my brows because they're pretty unruly so I generally just tend to put a powder in and then the gel. So I think they're looking quite like quite a good colour. It is good that they've got the warm and cool tones in there so that um, if you do have warmer toned hair, your eyebrows aren't going to look too ashy. Designer brands are a brand that are really affordable. You can find them in um, pharmacies, I think, uh, here in New Zealand anyway. Um, they're cruelty free, not tested on animals. But I like how they're accessible for everybody. Just gonna brush the spoolie through again. Then gonna grab my Ideal Brow Lash and Brow and Lash Growth Accelerator. This just keeps them um, set really well all day. Just brush it through. I also find if there's any like clumps of powder, then putting the gel through will just um, kind of melt the powder in, and it's not so obvious. Just gonna use my Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Uh, eye primer. I've really been loving this. I like how easy it is to apply and it blends out really well and how it is just a, kind of like a lighter um, shade of than my skin tone. So if you're darker that won't be a benefit for you but um, for me sort of like light to medium um, skin tone it works quite well. So I'm just taking that all the way up to the brow bone as well. So I'm just going to grab the um, highlight powder and I'm just going to pop that all over the eye, I think, right up to the brow bone. Just setting that um, eye primer so that any shadow we put over top will blend out a lot easier. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm going to use my new Inglot palette. So I picked this up in Sydney when I was there. It's one of their Freedom palettes and so you just pick whatever shades you like. So they have different sizes. They have the 5, I think there might be a 10 as well and there might be another one. I'm not sure but uh, no, there definitely is like a larger one. But I just wanted to go for the 5 first because I had never tried Inglot shadows before and even though I have heard really good things about them, I didn't want to just go all out and then have all these shadows that I didn't use. So I'm first going to go in with this one here and just kind of start shaping out my crease. So I obviously have quite a defined crease, but what I don't like about it is that my eye, the crease does pull down quite a lot. 
So I'm trying to bring the crease outwards a little bit towards the tail of my brow. So, so far the shadow, I mean, I just picked up a tiny bit and it's really pigmented. So it's a really good start. Um, it's blending out really well as well. So I'm just going to grab the brown shade and start um, creating like a triangle in the outer corner of my eye. Just going to go into my um, Kat Von D shade and light palette and grab the darker brown there. And then I'm going to go in with the black on the very outer corner. Okay, so I'm going to get the coppery shade, put that on the outer sort of second half of the eye, and then I'm going to put the gold more in the center and inner. So I'm just blending it into that darker outer V. So these are really metallic shadows, beautiful shadows, great color payoff, very blendable, very happy with them. Right, so with the highlight shade, I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner and also on the brow bone. Right, so for liner, I'm going to try this Mary Kay Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I haven't tried this one before, so I'm going to give it a go. So I'm just going to create a wing. Nice and black. Don't have to push too hard to get any product out. That's good. Good signs. Wow. This pen is pretty easy to use. And it um, doesn't require much pressure. I really like that liner, definitely going to add that to my lineup. Just going to grab my taper blending brush again and that a mix of the dark brown and the black. I'm just going to go in here again in the corner. So for foundation today, I am going to use my new Lorac Pore Fiction foundation. So um, there's a new st uh, online store in New Zealand that's called La Femme Beauty and um, they did send me this to try out and I haven't tried any Lorac um, foundations before so um, yeah giving this a go. It's going on really nice and easily blending out really well. So La Femme Beauty is um, bringing in lots of international brands that we um, don't have a lot of access to in New Zealand or maybe no access to New Zealand. So I'm not sure if there are any other places that sell Lorac. Maybe, but um, I don't think I've seen many at all, but they do stock a lot of their range and their palettes are amazing. I have the limited edition um, Lorac Pro palette, which I'm not sure if you can get any more, but they have the um, Lorac um, 1 and 2 palettes and they're pretty good from what I hear. I haven't tried them myself, but the pigmentation that I have, of the one that I have is really amazing. But this foundation is going on really well. Taking my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, I got mine in the shade Neutral Medium. I bought this in Sydney as well and I've used it a few times now and I really like it. The coverage is amazing, like a little goes the longest way. I've been applying this with a brush recently but I applied it with my fingers yesterday and I actually preferred uh, the finish because I think it gave me a little bit more um, coverage under the eyes. Do the Hula Benefit Liquid Bronzer and just apply this to my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead and nose. So as this is a liquid product, I'm going to apply it now before I apply any powders. So I just got this in the mail this week. This is the New Benefit Dandelion Dew Liquid. It's a um, 
I'm like a liquid blush. It says soft baby pink radiance for cheeks. So it's kind of like the Drew the Hula. So I'm just going to apply it on that same brush because I find that uh, blends it in really nicely. Well, it blends in the bronzer. I haven't tried this product, so we will see. It smells really good. <laughs> So I like that it has like a nice soft radiance as it says it's not too blushy and especially with the look I'm going for today it's I didn't really want anything too bright. So I'm going to follow that up with the Benefit High Beam um, highlighter. So this is just a mini version that came in this really cute kit. A little bit down my nose. And give us bow. And a tiny bit up on the temples, just gonna dab it in. So it's quite subtle, which is nice, but it's more of like a, a very, like a reflective highlight. Um, not gold, it's quite um, pink. And I was gonna try my uh, new Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer, powder concealer, but for the life of me, I can't keep this little cap thing out, so I can't try that today. So I'm just going to go back in to my Laura Mercier powder and pop that on onto my eyes. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Colonic Beyond Perfect Theme um, foundation powder, powder foundation. I'm just going to use a brush to do that. Taking my Kat Von D shade light palette, taking the contour shade at this end, and my contour brush. Just gonna pop that underneath my cheekbone. Next up, taking my Benefit Hula bronzer and just bronzing up my face. Another new product I got from Inglot is this Sparkling Dust Face, Eyes and Body in the 01 shade. Oh wow. Okay, so it is pretty intense, even now not wet, like dry. It definitely comes out as more of like a, a white kind of shimmer rather than... Um, Pink, like it does in the pan. Okay, so be very sparing when you apply this. Getting my um, breezy glow on today. Okay, well, if you want to highlight, that one's definitely a beautiful one. I might um, apply a it with a different brush some next time or try something a little different because it is so intense um, but maybe it will just um, I'll just need to brush it with my powder brush and try and like dull it down a little bit I'm gonna take that little dandelion um, blush powder that's um, I think it's supposed to be quite illuminating and just gonna take my blush brush and apply it onto my cheeks uh, I'm gonna use a lip liner this is a Chanel one it's quite old, I'm not sure if they still sell this very one, but it's very good, whatever one it is. Rouge Red. For my lip colour, I've got this new um, lipstick I picked up from a makeup store in Australia. It's this beautiful red, it's called Amarath. Um, I'm just going to pop that on straight from the two. So it's more of like a pink red. That went on beautifully, glides on, very silky, not uncomfortable. It's not matte, it's like a satin finish, I'd say. Just going back in with those uh, shadows, Inglot shadows under the eyes. Starting off with the warmer brown. It's popping on my lashes, I'm just using um, Socialized Vixen lashes. I'm going to use my Benefit um, Roller Lash Sample here now that I've got. So it's a super lifting and curling mascara. Just going to pop that on under my falsies to blend them in. 
Just gonna use that same Mary Kay uh, aligner pen to go over the top of my lashes to hide any lash glue. So that is the finished look. Um, hope you liked it. It's my first kind of video doing um, first impressions. Um, I just get, you know, sent quite a few products to review and also buy a lot of products myself. So it is nice to kind of maybe show you more of what I do think of them in the first go. And um, yeah, just that you know my first impressions. And so you do know what a product is like. And it's not just my say so through Instagram or in an image. And you get to see how they do apply. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please press the subscribe button. It's just right down below and um, Yeah, leave me a comment um, if you like the video or any suggestions about what you might like to see next and um, I will list all the products down below with links so you know where to get them from and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this look here which is kind of like a coppery eye with a nice big dramatic wing and a red lip uh, I did use this video to kind of do a lot of first impressions with products that I have been sent um, to review or products that I've bought myself as I wanted to, you know, experience more and um, sometimes I just have products sitting there that I haven't been able to try for a while so I thought this would be a good opportunity to tell you what I think of the products so you can see how they apply, um, you know, what the colour payoff is, how they blend, um, you know, maybe if they're worth spending money on if they're not and uh, yeah it was quite a fun video to do I really liked um, kind of sharing my opinions and trying the products for the first time on camera was exciting too um, this look I used uh, Inglot shadows that I bought while I was in Sydney and also tried a whole lot of new benefit products that um, have just been released or just coming out so I'll leave all the information below about all the individual products anyway and the red lip is um, a beautiful lipstick from makeup store so you'll definitely have to check that out um, I will put as usual all my products down below if you do want to subscribe you can hit that button now and um, hopefully you'll like this video give it a big thumbs up it really means a lot to me and uh, if you do want to see how to get this look then please keep on watching <laughs>